Hi everyone, welcome to Rome, Italy. Uh, it's been quite an adventure already. Our flight was delayed on the tarmac for two hours because of rain. And apparently they must have left our luggage out on the tarmac too because I checked into my hotel and opened my suitcase to discover almost half my clothing is wet. That's my mom in the background trying to help me put everything out all over the hotel room so hopefully it dries by tomorrow when we leave for the cruise. Say hi mom. Hi everyone. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, take a look at uh, all my clothes here. So yeah, this is uh, all my clothes. It's laid out not only here but all over the bathroom, hanging in the closet. So now we're going to try to go out and have some fun and I will catch up with everyone later. Buona sera. Hi everyone, here I am still in Rome. We're getting ready to uh, head to the cruise ship, but I just wanted to show everyone this beautiful, amazing rooftop that we've had the pleasure of enjoying now the second year in a row, and we're kind of sad that we have to leave it. I mean, look at these amazing views from the top of our roof, it's incredible. So, and the roof wraps around, and it's just been amazing being back here again this year. So my poor mom is ready to like uh, fall over. I apparently made her walk uh, four and a half miles, I think yesterday, and today we already walked a mile and a half. She's tracking it all on her iPhone. And uh, today we're just heading to the cruise ship and- uh, Yes. Uh, do you hear my mom in the background? Wait, here mom, say hi to everybody. Hi everyone, we're gonna rest on the ship because tomorrow we have another big excursion. <laughs> to somewhere, we don't remember. Yeah, Maybe don't it's remember. Portofino, <laughs> I don't know. We don't know what we're doing. We just kind of look at it. Somewhere in France, I think. No, I think we're in no. Italy tomorrow. Oh, we're we'll in figure Italy. it out. Okay. But anyway, we had a wonderful time in Rome and we're sad that we only got to spend a day in this hotel because we loved it so much last year, but we're just glad we got to come back even for a day. And we finally had a good Italian meal last night at a real Italian restaurant in Trastevere where we got to try spaghetti carbonara and it was awesome. So yay for that. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a good day wherever you are and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. excursion we're gonna to go to Cinque Terra which stands for five lands and our other excursion got canceled at the last second so we scrambled and we're a little tired from rebooking our trip but we're happy to be here say hi mom hi hi Bettina and Drew we're having a great time <laughs> everyone so apparently like uh, it's pesto that's like big in this region which is my favorite sauce and I already sampled some and it was delish so we're about to get on a boat and cruise the five lands and walk around a little bit. So, and we're already hot as heck, as you can probably tell. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting day, we're excited. So hope everyone's uh, doing well. And uh, hope my mom's happier today because I'm not gonna make her walk as much because we're gonna be on a no, boat for a lot of it. good. <laughs> <laughs> so have a good day everyone and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.
Hi everyone, welcome to one of our two days at sea. Figured it was the perfect time to show you around our cabin, which as it turns out, is not a suite. It's a family veranda room. And only difference being that we apparently can't eat in one of the restaurants because we don't have a suite. Oops, my bad. So who cares, the room is still massive anyway, but I guess we're not as classy as we thought. So here is uh, the entryway. Uh, look how huge it is, it's kind of crazy. And then uh, this is our bedroom. Uh, and then you walk through, and there's our living room, which is pretty big too. I don't know if you can see it. And the best part is our balcony. And check this out. Is this amazing? Look how far back it goes. So yeah, my mom's uh, sitting out here uh, bathing in the sun. Well, I guess not bathing, she's in her clothes reading. But whatever, the highlight of our day today is gonna be playing bingo at three o'clock because we might be able to win $20,000. Not bad, right? And I think these days at sea is exactly for that reason because they want us to stay on the ship and spend money. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, happy Rosh Hashanah to everyone, right, Mom? L'shana yes. tova. Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, and we were going to go to services, but we woke up we and discovered them. they were happening as we woke up. Oops, we tried. So no sound of the shofar for us, maybe tomorrow. So uh, have a good day, everyone, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Portofino and then took a boat here and leave it to me to find the only pet store I've ever seen in Europe. It's right behind me. Maybe I'll end up buying an Italian dog treat for some of my clients. Um, and here's my mom. Hi everyone. So uh, of course we overslept again today so we didn't get to eat breakfast so I bought something in one of the I don't know what they call them here, like a pasticcheria, pasturia. whatever, pastoria. So it's something pistachio, so I'm gonna try it and I'm hoping that it tastes good. Uh, I'll have to let you know. And today we're just gonna like do the three pearls of something. Again, don't know what, just kind of, and yeah, I'm just along for the ride and then we're gonna go to the beach and I'm finally gonna get to go swimming. So I'm super excited. So, okay, everybody, have a good day. I'm gonna eat my pistachio tart. Welcome to Monaco, uh, where apparently one in three people are millionaires, according to our tour guide, who, by the way, is nine billion times better than the tour guide we had yesterday. My mom and I are learning a whole heck of a lot, despite the fact that uh, no one else in the van seems to be listening, but that's their, uh, that's their uh, problem, not ours, right, Mom? And my mom wants to show you, like, she says, oh, there's, there's all those penthouses. I don't Look know if you could the see them. penthouses with the greenery. It's, it's amazing. On, I mean, it's These people are loaded here. Gorgeous. Here. So we're about to gorgeous. go to the racetrack, the Grand Prix right. in uh, Monte Carlo. And don't worry, my mom's not driving. Um, Aunt Sherry, uh, Greg, don't worry. Nobody's going to need to hold the oh-you-know-what handle. 
And then we're off to Ez, which is a medieval village where they apparently make perfume. But we're gonna skip that tour because I told the guide I wear perfume. I don't care how it's made. So <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great day. We're having fun and uh, we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. is in the Provence region of France. It is absolutely gorgeous here as you can see behind me. And yes, I've bought another hat. I just can't seem to get enough of them, a chapeau. Uh, Olivier, sorry if my French accent is absolutely horrible. Um, <laughs> and uh, Tessa, what do you think of my hat? I know you love them too. So um, of course we tried some wine already from a local winery um, and it is amazing. In fact, I bought a bottle here. Look, it's coming to a store near you, they say soon, so try it, it's delicious. And uh, my mom had a Diet Coke instead. You know, even though I tried to convince her that it's always happy hour somewhere in the world, Ten she, o'clock, it's too Yeah, early. she wasn't buying it. So anyway, we're just walking around the cobblestone streets. It is gorgeous. Beautiful. And then we say that we're gonna spend the rest of the day relaxing because our excursions have been very exhausting and we come back to the ship feeling like we need a vacation from our vacation. So um, we're gonna walk around a little bit now, head back to the ship and we will see you all again soon, okay? Uh, have a good day and uh, have a glass of uh, rosé on me. Bye! <laughs>carcassonne france uh, this episode should actually be entitled taking a castle by storm because that's kind of what we did today kind of reminds me of uh, carol kane and billy crystal and princess bride when they were like good luck storm in the castle right mom because that's kind of what we did yep, yep. wait in where is she out. in and out we like literally <laughs> did the speed version of this uh this beautiful monument because we just don't have a lot of time we missed the first train here we uh, the, the train on the way back is sold out so um, the person in the cafe told us that we can just kind of break onto that train and nobody's gonna kick us off because we have a ticket for a later train so let's hope that that's actually true because we don't want our boat to like sail out of the harbor without us. us so it should be an interesting <laughs> rest of the day but so worth it to come here and and it is absolutely gorgeous yeah, as you can see. Look at that, isn't that amazing? It's a medieval city. Can you see that there's a theme here with me? I, I love everything medieval. This is in fact the site of uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. That's what someone told us, so um, I don't know. It kind of makes me wish I was made Marion, but and uh, on the way out, we're gonna show you this cool art installation. Um, it's concentric circles and it, it's kind of like mixing contemporary art with the medieval the building. Old. Yeah, old and the new, right, Mom? So yeah. we'll uh, show you that on the way out, but it's really just gorgeous here. And 
uh, you know, just saying hello somewhere in France. We're not sure where, but uh, hopefully um, we will get back to you later and say we made it safely aboard ship. So check out my blog later and you will find out what happened. Okay, everyone. Bye. Bye. So this is the uh, art installation I was telling everyone about, the concentric circles. Isn't that incredible? Kind of weird on a medieval building like this, but... Uh, at first I was a little upset until I saw the circles and then I was like, oh, this is okay. And you can hear there's a French person behind me probably saying uh, something a little more sophisticated than me. But bottom line is this is pretty cool. It's uh, coming off at, on September 30th, so I'm glad I caught it before it went away. So it's uh, basically made with like tape and then they painted yellow on the tape. Um, anyway, au revoir everyone. So my mom and I are trying to come up with a game plan here um, so that we don't get thrown off the train. We're here at the station. Uh, my mom's like, let's just go sit in the cocktail car because maybe if we're drinking, nobody's going to bother us. And there's an upstairs and a downstairs on the train. So we're thinking maybe if we keep going up and down, um, we'll elude the authorities long enough to make it back to set. And we'll, uh, you know, walk another mile on the train uh, by the time we get back to port. So who needs a gym when um, you, you're evading the law? So, oh yeah, look, my mom wants to show you her app. Can you see that in there? Wait, let me see. Yeah. So wait, this is how many miles we've done today. So by the time we get back to set, we may have done a few more while we're evading the train conductor. So we will keep you posted. We're waiting for the train to pull in now, and we're just gonna jam ourselves in um, with all these uh, uh, young uh, kids. Tour yeah, kids that are like traveling somewhere with all their luggage. So maybe we can sneak in, sneak in with them. All right, we'll keep you posted. This is another day at sea. We're on our way to Palma de Mallorca, Spain. We're totally happy to be back on the ship after yesterday. And uh, we pretty much did a whole lot of nothing today, which suited both of us just fine. And soon we're off to play bingo. No one won the jackpot the last time we were at sea. So today it's $47,000. So we're pretty excited and who knows, we might just win. So uh, mom say hi. Everyone. Uh, we've really been doing nothing. I ran into a dancer that I met when I was rehearsing at Royal Caribbean Studios in February. So that was really fun. She was teaching a tango class. And later on, we're gonna find out who won the mystery. Peter yeah, Peter Max, uh, you had to guess how much his Umbrella Man statue sculpt, uh, it's a sculpture was. And I found out on the DL that I'm $800 away from having the right uh, dollar amount. 
And if nobody gets closer to than me, cl closer than me, I'm gonna win a prize. It's probably just gonna be not another the statue. Yeah, not the statue. Let's clarify. But uh, it might just be a celebrity beach towel. Uh, hopefully, it's a little better than that. But we shall see later if anybody came closer than me. And that's pretty much it for today. We're gonna have a soiree here on the deck after a trivia, and we'll see who ends up showing up. But, oh, hi, we're waving to our uh, guests on the next balcony. So that's it. <laughs> I hope everybody's having fun, whatever you're doing on this lovely weekend. Um, and I will talk to everybody tomorrow. Bye. Welcome to Ibiza, Spain, though I think it's pronounced Ibiza by the locals. Anyway, it's beautiful here. It was raining a little this morning. Uh, we went to see these caves, these underground caves that were super gorgeous, 100,000 years old. Um, and then we went to Old Town Ibiza, which was cool too. And um, I don't remember anything we saw. <laughs> I mean, in terms of what they were called, right, Mom? It was so early in the morning, like it's... Uh, the cave was beautiful and they did a light show with water on a waterfall coming down like a mountain inside the cave. It was just magnificent beautiful. with music. Yeah, and I filmed it, so anybody that wants to see it, just ask me. And now uh, we're headed to one of the beaches here because what else do you do in Ibiza? You go clubbing or you go to the beach? And we're going to go to the beach because mom and I did our dancing last night. And she's a pretty good partner, so I don't know, mom. Yeah. Maybe we should go clubbing tonight, too. I don't know. We'll have to see how things play out. But we're going to meet our friends now and head to. What beach is it, Mom? I don't know. Tell us, tell us something. I don't know. But uh, it's the closest to, closest the, to ship. the ship. So uh, we will uh, see everyone later and uh, have a good day, everyone. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Orca. We are somewhere at sea on a catamaran. We went out on this catamaran today. It's amazing. You can see our ship in the background maybe. I don't know. I think Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas is next to us and it makes our ship look like a rowboat but that's okay because we still had fun and uh, 
I guess I dragged my mom onto a catamaran, but she loves it, right, mom? Did you have a good time today? Absolutely. Lovely. And we have gorgeous. And we have special guest stars today, Linda and Andrew from the from the UK. Wait, say hello. Hi. Are you in there? Okay. Hi there. These are our friends. We might go to Australia with them next year if they let us. They may be sick of us by now. Everyone should come along. Oh yeah, did you hear the bell ring? That means somebody tipped on a drink, so good for them, right? Oh, is that what the bell is? That's what the, every, every time someone tips, tips they ring the bell. Woohoo! For, for servers. So yeah, we've, we've had quite a bit of sangria, if you can't tell. And oh, by the way, I brought my, wait, we brought the inflatable noodles. And Linda had to show me how to blow them up because I'm a complete idiot and didn't know you have to open the valve. I didn't even know there was a valve. So we sat in our noodles in the water. We drank sangria. We ate sandwiches with mayonnaise. Horrible. Mayonnaise should not be anywhere near a sandwich unless it's tuna fish. So we're on our way back to shore. It's our last day on the cruise. We're very sad, but at least we're off to Barcelona tomorrow. So hope everyone's having fun. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you soon. Designs. He is apparently the SHIT here in Barcelona. My mom wants to see everything Gaudi, so we were lucky that this was like a five minute walk from our hotel. I don't know if you can see how gorgeous it is. Look at, I'm like, see the colors? It's unbelievable. So we just went through the house and it is amazing, right, mom? We loved it. Beautiful. Every this stuff is so unusual. Yeah, and inside the house, they had, like, going up the stairs, like, tiles. Like, they, he decorated it, designed it as if it was an exterior, even though it's an interior. And I'll be posting lots of pictures of that, because it's just amazing. So, and we took a cheesy picture on the roof that we paid for. Um, well, and I, by pay for, I mean my mom paid for, because she's awesome. And uh, hopefully now we can check into our hotel and unpack a little. But Barcelona, is, it's just gorgeous so far. It's so colorful. Um, so yeah, that's uh, where we're at right now. And I think we're going to get some paella later for dinner near and the beach. on to all things Gaudi yes, it's, tomorrow. It's everything Gaudi in Barcelona. That's, that's what we're here for. We're taking Gaudi by storm. Okay, thanks everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. So beautiful. My mom and I are doing the Hapan Fafas today. 
Yes, call us cheesy, but we are cheesy, and guess what? It's convenient. It takes us all over the city, and we can get on and off whenever we want, which makes my mom very happy, so I dragged her off at this stop, and my mom's staring at it right now. Right, Mom? Beautiful. And it's... I believe this is actually the back. Oh, the back of the museum? I don't know. I think... I don't know, but... it would have been left off in front of it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Whatever. Isn't it gorgeous? Who cares if it's the front or the back? We love it. We're not going in because we've decided we're really, if it's not Gaudi exclusively, we're not doing it. So. We can do it in the Yeah, yeah, we'll go to. That's right. We're, we are going to go to the Picasso Museum, everyone. So we're not totally without culture. And we are seeing Gaudi. So that's something. So yeah, this is beautiful. We had a great day. We met two of our friends from the cruise for lunch, um, and that was really nice. And we went to the market, which is the biggest one in the world. And yeah, we both bought homemade chocolate, and it melted. It melted. Yeah, mine was five euro. My mom's was ten euro, and both of them melted. So true. I'm sorry. Yeah. I hope I get it home to you. We're stupidos, okay? So we're gonna have to buy some more chocolate because we're gonna end up having to eat it. I already ate mine. So, hope everybody's having a great day. It is absolutely gorgeous here today in Barcelona. And we're going to hop back onto the bus in a few minutes. Bye! Bye, everyone! everyone so we are here at Park Guell I think that's how you pronounce it and behind me is Gotti's house where he died I feel like kind of like when I visited Jim Morrison's grave in Paris back in the days when you could actually get right to the grave uh, they're both geniuses so you know um, it feels kind of cool to like go in his house and check out where he lived but I will tell you this park is like Everything is sort of like extra. Everything's an add-on, right, Mom? Yeah. Like we came to the park and we found out we can't see all of it. Um, this is extra. We had to pay extra to get into his house. There's a thing called Monumental Zone. That's extra, and it sold out. Like the next time we would be able to get in is it's no seven o'clock tonight, and it's only like I don't know two o'clock now. And everything's expensive. Nothing is I know we're used to the museums in New York like Being you just free and you make a donation yeah exactly so it's still gorgeous we're still loving it and the other thing is Park Gwell uh, well it's no Central Park I mean the views no, are it's not. the views are amazing you can see all the way out to the ocean you can even see La Sagrada Familia which is like Gaudi's crowning achievement but in terms of like the park Being itself the park can't compare but with that said, we also found out today that Park Guell was meant to be a residential community. They were supposed to build a bunch of houses on it for people to live in, and it never happened. So we can't really compare it to Central Park. It's not Gaudi's fault. So anyway, that's uh, kind of what's going on today. And uh, later tonight, we are in search of really good paella. Cross your fingers for us that we're going to get it. And then there's an amazing light show set to music for an hour at the museum, their Museum of Modern Art, which is glorious. So hopefully I will be able to stay awake, as will my mother, and we will make it to that. So that's about it today. Oh, yeah, let's show you some more of the, the house. I wish I could show you, like, the actual vistas out to the sea. I don't know, kind of, no, you can't really see it because of the lighting. But anyway... That's it for us. Uh, we will check in with you again tomorrow and hope you're all having a great day. Bye. Bye.
everyone. I am standing outside the synagogue or synagoga Mahor in the Gothic quarter of Barcelona, which is the old section dating back to medieval times. And it's funny, I said to my mom, let's wander around the Gothic quarter since it's the old section. And I don't think it's an accident that we wound up in the Jewish section. Because of course, wherever we go, that's uh, something that my mom always wants to see, right mom? So yes, I, I think I think something led us here today. So yeah, this is the... It's a large section. There's only a thousand families left in Barcelona. And this we discovered is one of the five original synagogues and the other four are still um, being used by other businesses. So this, uh, somebody in the early 2000s reclaimed it bought it and they excavated it and made it back into a temple that's now a museum. Oh wait, what? what the? This is a window, not a door. Oh yeah, I don't think you can see that though, wait. Yep, this is a window, but we were saying that, oh, this would be great because people must have been short back then and we were so excited and then we discovered it was a window. So yeah, we're still short, even in medieval times. So yeah, this has been, it was a really interesting like lecture that she gave about the temple. And now we're just gonna wander a little more around the Jewish section and do some shopping. Hi everyone, sorry we had to tack on this additional thing to show you our new friends, Carrie and Troy, who just got married. Hi. Aren't they so cute? Hello, family. Look, look, we're so short that look, you can only <laughs> see the top of my head. See? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. We're short no matter where we are, that's the bottom line. And so we just met them outside the Jewish synagogue. And look, we just wanted to show you our Hamsi, matching uh, Hamsi necklaces. It should protect us this weekend in the Mercy Festival, which is apparently they just told us going to be a zoo. Yeah. How many thousands? Four hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh my Human God. towers, fireworks, yeah. Yeah. fire, something shooting into Chasing the street. I just saw. Yep. Oh yeah. Parade. Yes. Yeah. So That's we're fun. glad that we met them. No, so. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Bye. 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 everyone I am here in Labyrinth de Horta Park in Barcelona I don't know if you can, can you see that bride and groom behind me it's so gorgeous here that people come here to take pictures and this is really a glorious park it was quite a hike to get here uh, but we're glad we came because look at this labyrinth behind me it is so super fun and there were a lot of kids screaming and crying <laughs> which is kind of funny, but I mean, okay, I do feel a little bad, but it was hard to like get through the labyrinth. My mom was saying at certain points, right mom, that, oh, she was gonna call for help because it did take us a while to get out of here, but we're glad that we did it, right? Yes, it was a lot of fun, but I was gonna call for an ambulance if they couldn't get me. Oh yeah, in case you haven't figured it out, <laughs> summer may have ended yesterday, but it's still summer here. We are, as you know, the Jews like to say, schwitzing. Oh, it is hot today. <laughs> and we really need to go sit by our um, little bathtub pool that we're, we're really loving with the good sangria. But we're gonna walk around a little bit more. This is kind of an out of the way area of Barcelona. So now we're gonna head more back into town and just uh, do some last shopping, last minute shopping, because we're heading home tomorrow. Yeah, it's our last day here. Yeah. It's such but a we, good time. It's been wonderful. It really the has. Cruise, Barcelona, everything. And, you know, it's been fun making these videos every day. So maybe mom and I are just going to have to just keep going places uh, every few weeks just so that we can keep making videos.
thanks so much for watching us. We had so much fun and we sure did. And we'll see you back in the US. Bye. Bye. Welcome to Porta Venere. It is part of, I think, the beginning of the Italian Riviera. I don't know. Our tour bus uh, said so much, so much stuff. The guide that wait. Let me... So leave it to me to find the one pet store in Santa Margarita. Look, it's right behind me. Isn't that cool? So uh, if I had a dog, wait. No. Hi everyone, welcome to the, uh, wait. Hi everyone, welcome to Le Castellet, which is a medieval village in the Provence. Uh, with that said, it's very beautiful here. The vistas, you're kind of on top of the city and you can see all the way out to the sea. Um, you know what? We just kind of ended up in the Jewish section of, no that's not.